What's up guys, today's we'll take a look at top 5 best meat slicers in 2022, that are available on the market, I made this list based on my personal research, if you would like more information about these products and their latest prices, check out the description below. Don't forget to subscribe for more reviews, ok, let's get started with the video. Number 5 Want a small, cheap, but still solid performing meat slicer, this one packs a lot into a compact and inexpensive package. The blade size is small, but plenty for a lot of uses, especially slicing small, hard meats like pepperoni. This one even does hard cheeses, soft cheeses are a no-go, and has a pretty good sized tray for catching and holding meat as you continue to slice. It is perfect for anything you might put on a sandwich or cracker. Cutting slices as thick as 3 quarters inch down to very thin sizes. It even does hard breads like a soda bread. It has a sturdy cast aluminum body and is easy to take apart to clean. It only has two major stumbles. The suction cup feet are a bit of a disappointment. No slip rubber is a much better material than suction, which is unreliable and prone to slipping, and minor nicks or cuts, or even something that gets under the bottom can ruin its suction. The second is the horsepower. The blade has a really slow revolution and you need to be careful when using it, something tough or sticky, like soft cheeses, could cause it to get stuck and burn out. The price though definitely makes up for all its shortcoming, being a fraction of our winner's cost and still providing plenty of power for someone who needs it for light duty work. Number 4 If you find yourself cutting a lot of very tough meats, this is a great budget meat slicer. It's a low price, in the ballpark range of the Gurmi model above, with an average sized, 7.5 inches, late and a very nice tray. It looks good on a countertop, with a sleek black coloring on the silver of the tray and blade. This feature doesn't factor very much into my analysis, but always worth noting that an appliance won't make your kitchen look worse. The body is a sturdy die cast aluminum which can last you a very long time. If there's some kind of accident, it has a pretty good one-year warranty attached to it. The serrated blade is going to be the real deciding factor on whether you want this or not. It makes this slicer significantly less good at slicing soft meats, it's likely to tear apart lunch meats and anything softer you put in front of it rather than slice. Whether you want or need the serrated blade is the real make or break of this unit. You're paying a bit extra over the gourmet for the privilege, and it doesn't do much of anything else special, save have a bit of extra power. It puts out 180 watts, giving it a bit more cutting force for those tougher meats. Number 3 This one does not endear itself to me. I get it's meant to be a portable and collapsible model, so some leeway must be given to it in terms of the quality of its parts. The price though doesn't add up. It's about the same price as a far superior model which is already a more expensive version of the model I didn't like much because it was a more expensive but otherwise similar version of the Gurmia meat slicer near the top. So we have a unit that is overpriced and underpowered, only 100 watts, with cheap and frustratingly flimsy plastic construction, a tiny 6.7 inch blade, a terrible handle, and even a bad duty cycle, you get 5 minutes of uptime for 30 minutes of downtime, or roughly a 15% duty cycle. That is on top of the fact that I have a hard time figuring out who this product is meant for. Why do you need a portable meat slicer? Are you going to fire up a loud, messy product and slice some lunch meat at your desk at work? On the bus? At a picnic? Why not just slice it before you leave? The entire product is ill-conceived, and even were it a quarter of the price it's actually listed or I'd have a hard time justifying its purchase, except maybe as a gag gift for someone who really loves deli meat? As it is, and the actual price, I find myself just scratching my head in puzzlement as to who this product is meant for. Number 2 This model is almost identical to the Ostba model we already covered. It has a solid energized aluminum body that protects it from corrosion, a must when dealing with meaty substances. The tray is a good size, though the blade is a bit small compared to some other meat slicers at 7.5 inches while also being serrated, which is a bit of a minus in my book for something that only comes packaged with a single blade, if I had to choose one I'd take the smooth edge as it's far more versatile. The suction cups I'm still not a fan of, 
as I vastly prefer no-slip rubber bottoms, particularly with this model's advantage over its weaker brother in the same line. The main draw of this meat slicer is its power, being a 200 watt model. While weaker than our winner or the Vever meat slicer above, it is also significantly cheaper than either, about a third of the price, and puts out an impressive amount of power for something at the lower end of the price range. For this alone it's worth recommending, as everything else is at least passable, with durable if cheap materials, like the stainless steel blade, and a high performance. The only real sticking point is that serrated blade. Number 1 This is an excellent high-grade meat slicer that puts out more than enough power and performance for even the most demanding home user. The 10-inch blade is one of the more standout features, providing plenty of cutting size for all but the largest and heaviest meats. It will easily cut large, up to 8 and a quarter inches, slices of whatever your meat of choice is, as thin as you care to slice it and up to about a half inch thick. The bot is made of a sturdy aluminum, with nicely grippy rubber feet. It's safe to use, with a nice blade guard, while remaining very powerful, at 1 slash 3 horsepower and 282 revolutions per minute. This is a highly versatile model, with enough power and speed to slice pretty much anything. Not just meats, but cheeses, bread, and vegetables are all fair game as well, giving you an all-purpose slicing machine for when you need to quickly crank out meals. The blades are a high-quality chromium-plated carbon steel, harder and sharper than a more standard stainless steel blade would be. Built into the top are a pair of sharpening stones, which lets the meat slicer's blade self-sharpen even while in use, you never need to sharpen it by hand. You'll certainly pay a premium for it, this being one of the higher-end consumer available models, but it's well worth it for anyone that needs the best performing meat slicer you can find. The value of this machine can't be understated. This is the best bang for your buck on the market. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you like this video. If this video is helpful to you, please don't forget to like comments and be sure to subscribe to get more reviews. Hope to see you guys in the next video.